Hey guys, this is Roger from Hemadroids.net. Normally it's not me that's doing the videos, you see Andy doing it. Um, but I've got the Xperia Play this time, so I thought I'll give it an unboxing. That way you lot know we've got it, and you can leave some comments below, any questions you've got, and we can try and answer them in the full review. Anyway, I'll go ahead and do that unboxing right now. Um, I bought this from Expansis, so it came with this free car charger. Not sure how useful that will be to you because um, I think you get a car charger in the box already. Well, let's put that aside. So here's the box, pretty nice. Got pictures of the Xperia Play, so you know exactly what you've got. If you've got the wrong thing, send it back. Let's open it up. Open up the little flippy thing and first thing you're greeted with is the actual phone but that doesn't feel as bad as I thought it would let's take that out of the plastic it feels quite light but that's possibly because the battery is still not in it let's put that aside for the moment more crappy cardboardish paper whatever you want to call it we've got the battery it's uh, I'm not sure if you can see it but it's a uh, 1500 milliampere hour battery right there there's a micro USB charging cable oh look there you go another micro USB charging cable quite thoughtful actually because you use one for the charger and you might want to use another one for actually connecting to your computer the 3 pin UK adapter Oops. sorry people got a cold and there you go look you've got an official Sony Ericsson car charger so I'm not sure why you would actually want to get it <coughs> from Expansis with the free gift because it's just like having two car chargers but if you've got two cars probably useful let's see what else is in this the headphones let's open that up and let's see if it's one of those cheap headphones you normally get because I hate them so much especially the ones you get from HTC now this one's pretty good actually um, it looks a lot better than your standard headphones it's the in-ear stereo headphones so that's a lot better than what you normally get with HTC let's put that to the side some replacement in-ear buds what we're going to call them your first hour probably some guide on how to use it and set it up so if it's your first time to Android you might want to read that uh, more crap and more crap but look here this is a surprise they've actually include, included a screen protector that's not something you see with many manufacturers these days it's pretty rare so that's pretty good thumbs up to Sony Ericsson for that okay, let's get back to the phone itself well, remove some plasticky thing the back and the front so this is pretty glossy it, it's similar to the black that you get I think it's that piano black that you'd get on the um, original PS3 and the PSP uh, pretty shiny and glittery let's see what you got here uh, I'm not sure if, sure if you'll be able to see it but you've got the front facing camera right there uh, I think that's a light sensor or proximity sensor it will be one of those uh, you've got your four buttons right here um, Sony Ericsson has decided to change it around a bit on this side here you've got the micro USB port you've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack the back you've got the 5 megapixel camera with the LED flash and on the top you've got the power button 
let's go to the other side here's the famous shoulder buttons right and left call them what you will shoulder buttons flippers whatever um, I'm not sure if you can see that you should be able to um, they've got the actual volume rocker in the center uh, I think that's pretty smart because if you flip it out and you've got your fingers on the shoulder buttons it's pretty easy to reach the center and change the volume and this is what I'd assume you'd want the phone for so this is the first PlayStation certified phone and you've got here the standard PlayStation controls really you've got the triangle circle uh, X and square and you've got your d-pad and you've got the touchpad feels pretty good really um, you, you don't really have to look at it to know where you're touching because you've got that little gap in the center and that circle around here you've got the select button and the start button anyway, let's compare size I've got another phone here uh, you probably know this one it's the Desire HD now in terms of thickness you can see that there's no competition really the Xperia Play is definitely thicker in terms of length it's roughly the same obviously the screen is smaller sorry about that clear now the Desire HD obviously feels a lot bigger in the hand because it's wider and slightly longer but quite surprised actually with the Xperia Play I think they've used that human hand curvature um, technology on this so when you're actually holding it it doesn't feel as thick as it really is it's pretty good it feels nice in the hand anyway uh, I'm going to try and get this back cover off and chuck the battery and see if I can turn it on that wasn't that hard and let's turn it on yeah so it does feel quite comfortable I can understand why they went with the thickness because um, if they made it any slimmer it would be pretty difficult to hold this The shoulder buttons feel quite sensitive in this. Um, it does go down with just the weight of your fingers. There you go. The Sony Ericsson logo. And now that it's started, um, let's have a quick look through at the interface. So you've got the standard Sony Ericsson UI. Slide to unlock. Um, you go for the normal stuff, so I'll just select uh, United Kingdom, just carry on. Obviously, I ain't got no SIM card in there at the moment. Blah blah blah, agree. And um, in. So they're using their custom UI that you can see here. Um, not even sure what you call it. I think it was a uh, Mediascape or something like that. Um, it's pretty much your standard Android. It's running Android 2.3. Obviously, it's not completely standard. Uh, they've got their UI on top um, with their own style widgets and stuff like that. Um, overall, the device, it does feel quite snappy. Um, and that shouldn't really be a surprise. Uh, it's using the same processor as the Desire HD and the same graphics uh, chip, I think. It's a 205 Adre Adrenal 205. It's the app drawer. Yep. That's pretty smooth. I can't really notice any lag. Obviously, this isn't the full review. It's just an unboxing. Um, we will have the full review on hemmerjoys.net, so keep an eye on there. And um, if you've got any questions, uh, just leave a comment below, or you can actually go to our website and leave a comment there. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. 
hope I didn't do too bad. This is my first video, so bear with me.